Hello, welcome to Coding Blocks Automation Lab. This is Sherpal. In this lecture, we're going to see how to validate negative API response to Cypress. So when I say negative API response, what does it mean? It means, let's see in a real life example. So this is our uh, API endpoint, right? For our all the uh, tutorials that we're going through here, um, we're going to put it here instead of say, let's put it 1000. So this is the valid limit of the uh, endpoint. It's a 100 to 200. So if I put 1000, so this API URL, it's an invalid URL. So what will happen when you hit submit that? So if you send any request to this endpoint, this API, so this API will not able to respond, so will not able to get you reach to the server. So the network or server will all return the page not found or 404, which is very famous, uh, the negative response or API response when the API URL, it's, an, it's not valid. So you can see over here, this is our 1000, so run. And you can see this, uh, so the request is goes through the get method to the server and the server said this is not a valid uh, request so that's what server response this 404 so our validation would be we have to ensure if we enter if we send any request to invalid url to invalid api and then it's uh, the response comes from the server which is the 404 so we have to match that the response is for first how we're going to do this through the cycle that's what we're going to see in this tutorial so let's go so this is our example we're going to use this api url with the 1000 and then we'll validate the status code is 404 okay this is also you can say mocking the network response because in in a real life scenario you know it's not possible to use any tool even you know when the response is for for how we gonna validate the automatically you can do it. in a manual way yes you can you can see it is responding for for then you can say it's a test case is pass pass right but in 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 any automation tool cannot do it this is one of the very speciality of the cypress okay let's go to now our vs code so first uh, you know we're going to create a similar it block or test case uh, like this, I'm going to, so we had a previous tutorial, which is, uh, uh, you know, we used to validate the, the uh, 200 response, right? So when the status is uh, 200, which is like success response, it's uh, give you 200. So we're going to copy the same code, you know, let's see what happened if we use the similar pattern. And here we're going to give a name here, and then we'll see, we'll tell over here, API, okay, status validation. I will just change over here, negative, negative status validation, or you can say 400 status, 404, 404 status validation, okay? This is the one, the E block, and, uh, and then function, and the CY, and then we're saying, we'll keep it as it is, let's see, and then we we're going to, so this is our URL, the CY request, this is our URL, and it puts in a variable or allies, which is the Pokemon. And then now, so this Pokemon have the response and we're going to validate the status. So that's why we're going to use the its command and its status, and then it should equal to 404, right? So 404, let's put 404. Save it, and then let's run it. So we'll say npx Cypress open. Let's see what happened. Okay, so you, you'll see all three previous test cases is passed, but this one, it didn't pass. But in our case, it should pass because the URL is, okay, sorry, uh, we didn't change it. So let's move to there. Let's move, I think so we didn't change it. So let's, sorry, let's put it here, 1000. 
okay and let's do this one it's let's run only this it block this one okay so let's put this on one lead use the one lead save it now run it again okay so I'll run it again then this time it will just run the only one test case that we're uh, looking for. Okay. Well, we can we found an error, so it didn't even pass. The test case it didn't pass. If we go, we'll say there's a request is for for this, and it said failed. So what is exactly the problem? Is that a test case, test cases failed or that it was not even run properly to do the assertion? You can see C dot Y request failed. So it's saying even our request, you know, uh, the, uh, the API request was failed. So it didn't even able to validate this this request. So it was not a test case. It was not failed. The the test case process was the fail because you know the reason why let's close this one again let's go to here our test cases here the scenario so what's really happened so when the request make uh make a call to this endpoint you know it goes to the server and server it says it is an invalid api request and then it's server response 404. But when we do a uh, you know, code over here, here, and then we're having the response over here, but this variable Pokemon is not even having that server response, which is server, it's sending 404, but this one, this Pokemon variable doesn't have even server response because this is the invalid URL, invalid you know, uh, API. So when it's an API invalid, so it, it this doesn't have the knowledge that server is responding 404. So that's why it's a little bit tricky when you do the you know negative API response testing like 404. So in that case, so what would be the solution? The solution would be let's go. So here we have to do a little bit tricky here. So one of the parameter like URL over here, you know, we're going to Close that, and then we have to do a little bit change here. Just stay with me. So we're changing the CY request parameter inside. So instead of directly sending the API URL, we're saying so. What? Let's go again here. You can see. This, when you send any request, whether it's a successful request or invalid API request, you know, it's still this request go through the get method. So this is your URL, the API URL, the invalid one. And the this, met, this request goes through the get method. Okay, so this is all the parameter, it's re related to the request. So we're going to pass, you know, this get method over here in the request. So we're saying, we're, we're, we're saying method. So what was the method name? It's get, right? Get method. And then we'll now we'll say path URL. Sorry. URL. And then we'll pass the value of the URL. This one. Okay. And now and then also one more parameter we can pass here, we'll say fail status. Let's see here. Fail on a status. Status code false. I will explain you. And then analyze the same. And then, you know, the get, see why I get this now. It's uh, 
this is the response Pokemon, it's a status. Okay, and then that should equal 404. So let's save it. Run it once again. And then, okay, let's clear it. I think it's already clear, okay, okay. So now run it. Okay. Loading the test. Here we go. This time it's passed. So it was expecting 404 and it's equals to 404. So as the question was passed. So how come now with this time it's it's get a pass? So let's go back to our code this time. So what do we did over here? So we when you send a request. And we saw that said that URL, the API request goes to the get method. So we're making, you know, ensure we're giving more information in the inside the request. Okay, follow the get method for this even invalid URL. And we're saying, so when it's invalid URL, so fail, it is a fail, right? We're saying fail on its status code is false. So it's not you know, we're making its reverse instead of it saying it's true, we're saying fail on its status code is false, right? Which is like 404 or some negative response. So which is like a true in, in this case. So that time when you make more specific for this is request, it whatever the re responses comes, like the false response, uh, like uh, the uh, negative response, it's it, all the response is a hole in this variable. Now it's Pokemon have the knowledge about this, you know, the fail status, okay? Which is that, uh, which is the false, right? And then we're saying now we're get, go for the response. So it, it, the Pokemon variable have the response and then we'll do the exactly same thing. We'll verify, okay, it's status and we'll say, okay, let's match or do that session with the 404 is that a 404 so that's the way you are you know uh mocking your network response so that it's it can match even verify even your negative api response like 404 okay so it's a little bit tricky but this is very interesting and it's a, a cypress makes very powerful in that kind of uh, situation you know where you need to validate your uh, negative API response. Okay, so that's all for today. Thanks a lot. Stay tuned. There's a lot to more learn and uh, feel free to share with others. Have a good one. Bye-bye.